All right, so I get a lot of questions from like my customers and sometimes just viewers about the whole process of incubating and what do I use and the temperatures. So I'm gonna try to do this in real time. These are box turtle eggs. Um, and anybody familiar with turtle eggs or box turtle eggs, sometimes when they get laid, or most of the time anyway, they'll have an indentment. So you don't, that's not something you should worry about. It's gonna come out as the eggs actually start incubating, if they even fertile, if they chalk up. But as you can see, that, that comes with turtle eggs. But I only use two mediums for the incubation process, topsoil. You wanna to try to get something that ain't got too much chemicals. The Scots has been working for me for like over 20 years, so I just stick to it anyway. And of course, the moss. I like to go one layer of topsoil, and then a layer of moss, right? I go topsoil, moss, and then one more layer of topsoil. Now bear with me because I'm trying to navigate doing this while, while recording, but this is basically my method that's been working for like ever and I never had too many problems with it. Make sure your topsoil and your moss that you're using is like a damp. You don't want to go too, too wet. Like uh, if you squeeze it and water comes out of it, it might be too damp. That's too much, but I like to shoot for around 80 degrees with my temperature and humidity, at least 60 plus. Now, a hygrometer like this, a thermal hygrometer is gonna be very useful for keeping track of if your eggs are staying warm enough I'm gonna redo this after this video, but I usually place this cord through that hole. But I just wanted people to get the general idea of how I do it. And of course, the hover battery is my go-to incubator. Simple, it's easy, it's quick.